What's going on everyone? It is your boy Cole J. Jones or Warlock and today I've got some search and destroy action for you guys in the map aquarium. Hope you guys enjoy this gameplay. If you do, drop a like and subscribe to my channel to see future content like it. I also got an update for you guys. Uh, I am now sponsored by Cinch Gaming. Uh, my code for them at checkout is Warlock. Go ahead and type in Warlock, get 5% off where you guys is uh, check out. If you guys don't know, Cinch Gaming makes controllers. They're the rival to Scuff. Instead of paddles on the back, they have buttons. So it's pretty much preference. Uh, they also have a couple more options that Scuff doesn't. They also they have they have some grip on the back of their uh, on their controllers. They're able to have put four buttons instead of two paddles on the back of the PS4. So just a couple different things about them, and it's all about you know what you like. I'm not saying one's better than the other. So let's go ahead and get back to the gameplay. As you guys saw, I got killed pretty easy. I didn't see that guy behind that behind that head glitch. He popped out of there pretty quick. I like to rush A side. It's pretty easy. You're able to stun and throw grenades over here to stop the uh, the enemy's advance. And also the head glitches are really nice over here, especially behind A bomb. You guys will see. I just picked up that guy. So right now A bomb's down. I'm gonna help my team out. My teammates out. I'm gonna watch flank. Uh, it's a three v four situation. Got one. Uh, waiting for any more pushing up the back. Yeah, watching my mini map the whole time. Watching my teammates watching my back. So I know we've got both lanes locked down. And uh, it's pretty crazy whenever you're, both your teammates are dying in the same spot and you run the same route as they do. And you uh, you end up dying too. <laughs> it, yeah, I, I really don't get it. Just a tip for you guys. If your, your teammates are dying in the, same, in the same spot. Run a different route. That might help. <laughs> I know, I know I'm being a little uh I'm being a little sarcastic with you guys, but uh but you know it's 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 obvious, you know, you well why would you keep running to the same spot where, where your teammates are dying? So right now I'm playing a little I'm playing a little campy right now. My teammate just gave me a uh I think my teammate just gave me a call out that uh that he's in water. And the reason why I was in that room back there, I think I had I think I was doing something with my controller or something. I recorded this gameplay about two days ago, so a couple things uh, a few things on the map I'm not, you know, I'm not too too familiar with, so I don't have this map memorized or the gameplay memorized too well. That is why I am going to be lagging a little bit whenever I describe my gameplay. It's it, this is a non-live commentary. But anyways, uh, yeah, still camping in this little area. I have no idea what I'm doing. Gonna go ahead and look for these last two kills. These last three kills, excuse me. Uh, somebody just got killed in top middle. Gonna wait for him to pop out. That was a pretty easy read and pick up. And uh, so I'm able to get this this kill right here. I'm, I don't understand. I do not understand why people do not run dead silence on search and destroy. It's it's man it's it's mandatory that you run it. I would say uh, hardwire. If you're not running hardwire and dead silence, you're wrong on search and destroy. That's just my personal opinion. I don't know about you guys, but uh, that's how I feel. And, and, y you know what, you know what, dead silence is not dead silence. I'm about to go on a rant right now, because I'm, I'm about to get upset, because dead silence is not dead silence. Especially if you have awareness on, you can still hear, you can still hear them. And in my opinion, you should have, you should have a counter perk to every perk. And dead silence is, and dead silence, that perk, it's counter, in my opinion, is six cents. Because you can't, you should be able to not be able to hear them, but six cents you will be able to see them on the mini map. So that should be the counter for that. Awareness, awareness, obviously you should be able to hear, you know, it's the perk for awareness to be able to hear everything around the map. The, and the counter for awareness is dead silent. So I'm just, I just don't get, I just don't get why they would make dead silent, not dead silent if you have awareness on that makes sense you know what I mean it it totally takes away from the name dead silence and I I, I I still feel strongly about them needing to buff dead silence and making it completely dead silent okay I'm done with my rant I'm done with my dead silent and awareness rant I'm sorry I'm, I'm sure you guys have heard it a hundred times probably in a hundred different YouTube videos and I'm just I'm sorry about that rant there's also another rant I like to go on but I'm not gonna get into it and that's about the auto mantle and I'm sure you guys know exactly what I'm talking about about auto mantle, but that's a whole different beast. Anyways, uh, working A side again. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my kinetic because I'm feeling uh feeling really confident in this gun fight. Yeah, and that definitely helped me out. I never, just so you guys know, I, I never run kinetic, and this is all free for all uh, luck right here. Look at this guy, he misses the melee. So lucky. 
allows me to get my Talon, allows me to get my Wraith. Uh, this was just pure luck, guys. Able to pop the uh, Talon. I thought it was going to follow me. It actually positions itself in there like a sentry gun. You guys didn't know that. <laughs> hey, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. And again, drop a like, subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see future content like this. Until next time, guys. Peace.